Okay, so uh, I was going to do a GVM scan of my Windows Server 2019, but I thought this was the perfect opportunity to put Keoptrix 1 into play, which would allow me to scan that as well. So I'm going to actually install a Keoptrix 1 machine today. Uh, this should be a very, very quick video. We've done enough installs in a virtual box, I think, at this point where uh, we should get it. We should get it, no problem. All right, so I need to find the, the VM, which I put in my D drive. So I'm going to open up that D drive, VMs, I have Keoptrix 1 here. Uh, you can find the link for this. I'll put a link to Vulnhub as well as on my Google Drive, a direct link for that. Uh, this one's going to be simple. I'm just going to double click on this one. If you're downloading it from Vulnhub, it might be an OVF file, which you need to switch into an OVA or vice versa. I can't really remember. I've had Keoptrix 1 on my system for so long, I can't even remember. Um, we're just going to literally go through it. So I'm going to hit finish. It should populate here pretty quickly. Uh, and then I'll just make the settings and change it. So very, very quick video today. Uh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I have my Keoptrix 1. I'm going to do settings just like before. Uh, now normally I would do bi-directional, bi-directional, but this is a penetration testing lab. And so there's really no reason to do bi-directional. So in this case, I'm going to skip that. I am going to keep it at one gig of RAM. It doesn't need anywhere near that. It's already at PS2. I only need one processor. It's very lightweight, very lightweight. Uh, we don't have anything for display. Don't need audio network. We got to switch that over to NAT network right there so my systems can communicate with it. And I'm going to turn the USB off if it isn't already. I'm going to press OK. And then that's it. I'm going to start it right up. So I will provide the description in the in the description of the video I'll provide a link both to Vulnhub and to my private Google Drive where you can download the machine uh, I am gonna let you see what it looks like when you boot it up because I had a lot of students that are like it's not working properly I can't do this you gotta remember Keoptrix one is a vulnerable machine that we're actually gonna try and hack later on the road I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the hacking exercise later down the road we're actually gonna use it to uh, pretend that this is a vulnerable system in our network that an attacker's gonna and we're gonna log it we're gonna do all kinds of funky things with it uh, if you know that it's correctly installed look it says Keoptrix one I don't know if you can get a good look at that or not it says Keoptrix login uh, good luck have fun Keoptrix login that's it that's it it is it is working properly all right so I'm gonna stop this video here uh, in the next one we will actually do a scan against this and we'll do a scan against our Windows Server 2019